This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Nomadic Navigator Collapsible Duffel 43 liter, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So the main pack material here is a 210D nylon that has a DWR coating. Um, it's a very durable fabric, especially for how thin it is, and it does well in the rain. We've seen this fabric from Nomadic before, and we're happy to see it again on these packs because even though this is a very large pack and it is a very thin material, at no point did we really feel like it was going to uh, tear or you know get a hole in it or anything like that because it is just a very strong material. Um, we have two different kinds of zippers to work with here. Most of the zippers are from Zoom and they work really well. And then we also have this top pocket here. This is a YKK reversible zipper because that is where the duffel collapses into. But we'll get a little bit more into that and I'll show you how you collapse it later on. But overall, all the zippers work kind of well, but this YKK zipper does sometimes get stuck on the material. Like when you've uh, collapsed it, it can get stuck on the interior materials, but it's always really easy to get unstuck. Uh, we have a YKK buckle here, uh, works as it should. It's pretty small, but I kind of like that because to be honest, I wasn't really expecting there to be a sternum strap on this anyway. If I haven't mentioned it yet, this is not only a duffel bag, but it also has these, as you can see, shoulder straps, so you can wear it as a backpack. On the top and bottom here of the uh, shoulder straps and on just either side of the duffel, we have these two handles. They're very lightweight, which keeps the weight down. Obviously this is supposed to be a lightweight bag, but I really like this, this location because if you have the zipper open, like you're in your hotel or your Airbnb and you wanna move the bag and it's open and things are kind of like not falling out obviously, but you can lift it up and carry it. Like we've seen this with other bags before. I like it when camera bags have this, but it's actually very handy for a duffel in general because a lot of times you have it open and you're kind of like living out of it or whatever, and you wanna be able to move it around without having to pack it up. So I really like the addition of both of those. But overall, this is a very sleek design, I think, and we have these compression straps which kind of help with that. So at 43 liters, this is a huge bag, and if you, you know, undo these compression straps, there's a lot of extra fabric and it's just kind of, the stuff is swimming inside there, especially in backpack mode. So you can really cinch it down. So when you have it in backpack mode, it doesn't kind of feel like you're, you know, wearing soup on your back. But something to note about that too, is there is a lot of extra strap material. So there's no strap keepers on these compression straps or on the bottom of the shoulder straps here, but there is one on the sternum strap. So there is quite a bit of extra strap that you kind of have to deal with. So moving into the harness system here, you obviously can use this pack in two ways, in just standard duffel mode or in backpack mode. So in standard duffel mode, these are obviously your straps, and there is a fair amount of padding there between the two to keep it fairly comfortable. It's not as padded as you know a standard non-collapsible duffel, but I think for the most part, it, it does its job, and you can also remove the sternum strap to get it out of your way, or you can kind of wrap it around to keep the uh, strap together. But when it comes to harness mode, you obviously think backpack, so let's get into that. If you look at the back panel here, there is a, the zipper to get inside the duffel, runs right down there. So depending on where you have the zippers, and you can kind of feel those like this. I felt this on my neck a little bit, but if you put them at the bottom, you don't feel it so much, but if you're shorter, that might still be like on your back um, or taller, I guess, depending on how tight you like to wear the backpack. So you can kind of feel those a little bit depending where they are. So I like putting it at the bottom and then kind of hiding them under that strap a little bit, let, let them dangle. But no um, padding, or structure on this back panel. So whatever you have inside there kind of becomes the back panel. So if you're trying to travel with a laptop inside this thing and wear it as the backpack, it's weird. You like need to stack the gear up and then put your laptop on top and then that kind of becomes the back panel. Um, so you just gotta kind of be more conscious of that when you're packing this thing out. And the shoulder straps here, they're really thin, not much padding on them at all. There is a bit of, you have um, mesh here to keep things cool. And it does work pretty well, but the back panel does, obviously has no mesh or anything like that. It's just kind of a big brick, so that gets a bit warm. But these actually stayed surprisingly cool. So as you can see, I have it in backpack mode right now to kind of go over the fit. And I have the compression straps on this side pulled tight, so you can see that it's really kind of pulling that material together. And then on this side, I don't. And you can see that there is quite a bit of extra material there. So if you had both of those undone or the straps weren't there and you were walking around or even getting somewhat active, 
it kind of like turns into soup mode back there. So having those compression straps really help. And you can also kind of see how much strap there is going on right now. I don't have these super tight right now. If I tighten them up a little bit more, there's just quite a bit of strap going on, and especially on this side where the compression straps are. But overall right now, this is fairly comfortable and the sternum strap does a good job at kind of keeping these two uh, shoulder straps together because they tend to kind of like to, to run away from the center because just how big this duffel is but it can feel a bit saggy. Like I only have packing cubes in there right now with clothes in it, but if you put anything even remotely heavy in there, it kind of feels a little bit saggy, but right now very comfortable and very happy with the comfort for a collapsible duffel. So when it comes to secondary compartments, we just have the one that we briefly mentioned earlier with the reversible YKK zipper. So if you have it in duffel bag mode, it kind of is a standard side duffel pocket here. Or if you have it in backpack mode, it's kind of like a top pocket that you see on some backpacks. So I will open it right now. And as you can see, there's not a ton of space inside here because I have this pretty packed out. You can see that there's this extra material here to where it kind of wants to like push, push in like that. But because there's so much stuff inside here, it kind of pushes out. And that's the main reason I don't have anything in the main area here right now because of how much I have in here, if I were to open that, it would just kind of like flop out and fall out, whatever it is, especially if you're on the go, you don't want that to happen. So that's something to be mindful of if you're packing this out, this pocket first, and then this pocket and you open it, this stuff could fall out. But we do have another pocket inside of here. And this is a pretty good sized pocket. Right now I've just got a notebook in there and then this is a uh, passport sized notebook that, from Bellroy to test passport sizes. But this is a pretty amply sized pocket here. And something to note about this pocket is it's actually on the exterior of the pack when you collapse it down. So after I take all the stuff out of the main compartment, I'm going to show you that. Um, but I think it's nice because in theory, you could actually leave something in here and then when you collapse the bag, um, it'll be on the outside of the pocket. And I did do that. It does kind of feel a little bit weird while you're doing it. If it's something fragile, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Like if you had like a pair of sunglasses in there or something in the process, it could get broken. But it is neat to see that this pocket has more than one use, whether you're going to use it continuously or just use it in this inside of this pocket and then use it again once you've collapsed it. But nice to see that it is not just hidden away somewhere once this becomes the stuff sack. But overall, happy with this. And this is actually the material that I mentioned that this reversible zipper here gets caught on the interior material. So this can get caught both ways when you stuff, when you don't have it stuffed, like right now, there's a lot of extra material here for th that this can get caught on. And I was hoping it would happen, but it didn't. But because of it is a reversible zipper, it, it is easier for it to get caught. And then once you flip it around the other way and there's all this extra material, this zipper can get caught on that as well. But it is very easy to get it unstuck normally I don't say normally, but a lot of times when zippers get material caught in them, it's, it's hard to get it out. I don't know if it is necessarily the YKK zipper or the materials that are used, but it's very easy to get unstuck. Uh, obviously, you can kind of get around it by putting your finger, like uh, your hand in front of the zipper to ensure that there's no materials there, but just something to keep in mind when you're using this pocket. So now we're moving into the main compartment and this is where the real party of this collapsible duffel is because it is pretty much all of the 43 liters are inside here and there is no organization in here. So right now, as you can see, I have packing cubes on packing cubes on packing cubes inside of here, because as I said, there's no organization. So packing this thing without packing cubes or without some sort of organization is very difficult. So as you can see, as I take these out, there is a ton of space in here. And this is the, I think might be the largest packing cube we have here in the office, this Eagle Creek packet packing cube. And then our usual suspects that we use in a lot of videos, these Heim Planet packing cubes. But as you can see, as I've taken those out of there, this material has just kind of fallen to the ground. It doesn't have very much structure. So it feels like when you're packing it less of a lot of duffels are very like, um, the durable and structured, like an air duffel bag is going to stand up on its own. And when you're loading it, it feels like you're loading stuff inside of a box. But as you can see here, this is more of like loading a garbage bag. And that is not in a negative way at all. This is a collapsible duffel. It needs to have these lightweight materials so it can fit inside this pocket but it just is a little bit awkward to pack if you don't have the, you know, the structure to pack inside of it because it doesn't have any structure itself. So packing cubes and different tech organizers and stuff like that are very helpful here because as you can see, there is, there is you know, no organ here. It's just all black material. And a, a note on that too is it can be kind of hard to find things in here, especially if you don't have good lighting conditions because it is so dark, but using packing cubes can really alleviate that because you can have different packing cubes for different things. And obviously if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know we love 
packing cubes and we have a lot of packing cube content on our website and channel so check that out if you have not used packing cubes before but now i'll show you how you can stuff it inside of this pocket here we open that up so it just stuffs like so here's obviously the duffel in this pocket and it comes in like this And again, all, obviously all that extra strap stuff can kind of be poking out. You gotta shove it all within there. And then you gotta find the zipper here and zip it up. So I like to go with the approach that once you get it started, you kind of have one hand on the zipper and one hand a little bit in front of it to try and make sure you don't uh, zip up any of the materials. This is taking me longer than it has recently, so I guess good to show that. So as you can see now, it is obviously much smaller and it's almost like travel pillow sized. And you can um, use this as a travel pillow in a bind. I tested it out just on the floor of my house to see how it worked. And it's not perfect, but it does have a fair amount of density. Um, obviously you can see we have that pocket on the back side. This is the same pocket that was in that side or top pocket of the duffel when it was in use. You can throw whatever you want to throw inside of there. Um, it's nice, I guess, to have that so you can have, like you could stow like a passport in there inside your pack uh, to give it a little extra layer of protection. We've got this little loop here to put a carabiner on or to just like throw it on something or run a strap through there so you can kind of have it hung and you're not gonna lose it. But overall, the biggest thing I wanna talk about here is just it's so small for a 43 liter duffel. Like 43 liters is a ridiculous amount of space, especially to be able to put this inside of your travel day pack or um, your travel backpack or your packed bag. I mean, even if you had like a big enough sling, like this would probably fit in there, which isn't, you know, you don't need to do that, but it's just crazy that you can fit 43 liters inside of one of your other packs and it fits like this and it does compress down fairly well to like fit behind things. So that's like the biggest perk of this and it really comes down to those materials, really quality materials here from Nomadic. So there you have it, the Nomadic Navigator Collapsible Duffel 43 liters. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.